It is unhealthy to motivate yourself that way. You have to call yourself out on it right away. I take it as a challenge. I want to help you achieve your goals. I wouldn't be recommending it to you if that was a piece of shit. What's going on YouTube? It's Rade here. Welcome back to my channel. Man, it's been a while since I recorded my last regular YouTube video, uh, but that's because I have been more focused on recording short videos uh, for the past two months. But today's topic requires more than a minute to discuss. That's why I decided to record a regular YouTube video. So in today's video, uh, I'm gonna talk about comparing yourself and if you've been learning English for a while, you've probably heard repeatedly that you should never compare yourself. You should never compare your English to other person's English. But in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how you can use comparing yourself to your advantage. And I'm also gonna tell you how you should never compare yourself. So if you're interested, continue watching this video. Okay, guys, let me start with this. Comparing ourselves to others, not only in terms of our English uh, speaking skills, but in all other areas of life uh, is a human thing. And we all do it to some extent. And if someone says that they never compare themselves to anyone, they probably lie. So let me tell you how you should not do it. If you compare yourself to someone else and you're like, I'm hopeless, my English is not as good as this person's, or even worse, my English will never be that good, you have to call yourself out on it right away because it's so detrimental to your self-belief, to your motivation, or to your confidence, and it will inevitably negatively impact your progress. And this is where my mindset changer will help you a lot to get rid of these kinds of thoughts. I've talked about it before, but if you haven't heard about it, uh, let me just quickly tell you um, what it is. It's just a list of 10 most common negative thoughts slash limiting beliefs that we as English or language learners in general struggle with the most and 10 positive, encouraging, powerful counter thoughts to overcome these negative ones. I've been using it ever since I came up with this idea and it works wonders. I wouldn't be recommending it to you if that was a piece of shit. So you can download it for free, the link is in the description and you will find the instruction how to use it and how I use it inside that little ebook. Okay, now that we know how not to compare ourselves, let me tell you how to do it in order to increase our motivation and work towards our goals even harder. So the key is to start looking at comparing yourself from a different perspective. So when I see or hear someone with great English, my first thought is like, wow, his or her English is amazing. They must have put in a lot of time and effort in order to achieve such incredible level of English. So I'm inspired by this person. And then instead of comparing my English and getting caught in that spiral of negative thoughts about my abilities to learn English, I do something else. My second thought is like this. This person's English is great, but I'm gonna work hard to ensure that one day my English will be equally good or even better. So I take it as a challenge. I'm pretty competitive. I didn't used to be like that. I want to win, but I also want you to win. That's why I'm making this video. I want to help you achieve your goals. And I don't think there is something inherently wrong if you want to be better than someone else. And I know that there will be people who will say that you should never compare yourself to others or that you should never try to be better than someone else or that it is unhealthy to motivate yourself that way. But guys, chill out. If someone is learning English just to get a better job so that they can make more money and buy a better car than their neighbor has to make him envious, then that's okay. If that works for you, if that's something that motivates you and keeps you going, then use it. Your motivation may change over time. For example, my motivation today is way different than it was two years ago. So use what works for you. And I know that it may not work for everyone, but I'm just giving you insight into how I think and what works for me. And if it resonates with you, then take what I said and run with it. So guys, that's just my two cents on this subject. I hope it will help you think about it from a different standpoint. I strongly encourage you to check out uh, my mindset changer. The link is in the description. Uh, you can also check out my Instagram. I will put a link in the pinned comment. 
And yeah, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the likes, all the comments. I really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and I hope it helped. This is where my mindset changer will help you a ton to get read, get read, get read, get rid, get rid. Hmm.